Hello, and welcome to episode 7 of To The Bone. This episode, we're going to dive deep into John's past to find out how much he knows and why he needs to be with the river. At least why he thinks he needs to be with the river. Because she's unique. She's different, he says. I guess we will find out. Should I even? No need. I'm all good now. Oh, what was that about? Okay, we need one more. One more memory shard. Or memory link, as they call it. I believe. Ah, River is going to be the answer. River. Yep. I just love how every time we see this thing, we are guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left as big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. There we go. Got our last memory link for the memento. Gah. Meh. Oh, for Lana's sake. Ah. Meh. Hey, not cool, Ava. You never block someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. Gotta get this Kamehameha in. Oh, he didn't do it. Prepare the memento. Prepare, 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 prepare. Best of sex, if that's what they say. Um, let's see. The most obvi obvious patterns. I believe it'd be right here. Um, maybe not. Oh, no. I thought it was obvious. I was definitely wrong. I got one. Not good. Ah, there we go. All I have to do is be guessing on those. Kinda wish I could get the best of them, but I can't figure out the pattern. If there is a pattern. Must we go? I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joy. My baby boy, growing up so fast. I wonder if he likes being called Joy. What if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in A. E. Joey. 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 Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Jealous? Oh, yes, so jealous. Pickles. Pickles, pickles. Oh no. Yeah, pickled cucumber. Oh, oh. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown. You're pretty easily impressed. Pickled cucumber. Isn't that just a pickle? At the clock. 
Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. Oh, we got a moment or memory link just going in the room. Okay, we need two more. Or no, one more. Yep, one more. Where could it be? Maybe a book. Yep. Various books with smudged titles. Smudged titles. Is there one more? I thought I had four already. My bad. Okay, where would it be? Interesting. Oh, the couch. I wonder why the couch would be one. to be a pattern to these that I'm missing but I honestly could not figure it out Activate the memento. Activate. Uh, that was weird. I wonder what happened there. It smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Ava. What the heck is that? What is going on? That's interesting. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going the put on us? I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for con for constru for construction. There must be a mal malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again, I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half year. I can't believe these idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage care saved. We might still be able to do this. All right, I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Who's he? Are they talking about John? Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation. Ladies first. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Act 3. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow. Act 2 was really long compared to Act 1. Finally in Act 3. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. So we're back at the 
present time. Here to solve the mystery. Or are we in the present time, actually? And that's all this old fool knows, huh? Sorry, I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Hey, that... That's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon, to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch, and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you can make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then can you not simply make things happen? and fulfill my wish here and now. That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas, for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you're merely an algorithm traced from Johnny, enough to reflect his likeness but far from complete. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way, and then we can transfer your registered desire to your childhood. The machines will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The results of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you're merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Ooh. Maybe even a copy has feelings, emotions. Ah, uh, all of our nights work. All the mementos we used to go back. And back. And back. I wonder if this is all enough. I still don't know why he wants to go to the moon. Is there more to the story? What the? Oh, she said the same thing. At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All I need to do is to pass this, his desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Okay. Go to this one now. I am fairly confused. Oh, I see. I don't see, but I kind of see. So the rabbit. Um, the book. Ava, check this out. Nom 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 nom. Seriously. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Okay, let's get that book. And now it is the clock. Did the 
desires have been passed on to the earliest memory. At least the earliest memory we could get a hold of. I think that's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the, the switch. You know me, always ready. Let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time on. Too bad we got a strangler here. Straggler. Not strangler. No loss. We can do this without him. I know. But it feels incomplete. You get too attached. It's going to impede your abilities to do your work. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. Oh, the soccer ball was one. Interessante. Alright, and back we are, I believe. Maybe. Yep. Back to us. Latest memory. This is the same setting as its real last accessible memory. I'm not too crazy about where this is going. Meaning, did anything change? Okay, the house is still here. Do we go to the back? this Johnny what a pleasant surprise we don't get many visitors around here deja vu again my name is, is Dr. Ava Rosaline and this is what I'm not saying it twice Dr. Neil Watts are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Or are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily. Oh, uh oh. Freeze him too. Well, interesting. Seems like nothing really changed. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Wait here, I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. It transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. Weird, weird, weird. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps, perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories, the earliest we can get to. Let's go. Interesting. So I'm assuming that should have been able to change Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up. Uh, well then. Oh, interesting. Change the movie about the moon. What the? This wasn't what they say. said was plain. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. How did River what know what movie this was? Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Oh my gosh. Neil's rubbing off on her. Wait, where's Neil? Where is Neil? 
not like getting popcorn. No. Oh, interesting. There's no one here. In the memory previously, there's quite a few people here. Hopefully we're not making so many changes that it starts deteriorating the memory links. I should go see if anything changed with John. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Where's Neil, though? Neil just straight up disappeared. It's all the same. I have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Is it though? Something here would work or could work. But don't tell me we're gonna change the book. Okay, we're not changing our book. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. What's starting? Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Uh-oh. Hey, don't squeeze. Maybe we made way too many changes already. It's almost like the butterfly effect. Neo is still gone. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? Oh my gosh. We found Neo. As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. NASA. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Head it to me. Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. Digress. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? Inhale the sweetness of Venus to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon. Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps...
as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. <laughs> they look bothered. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion billions years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon, who's gonna get them all bored of it? Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. Did they know that for sure? And last but not least, people, 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 go to the moon, get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupie. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. Trying to direct it towards John as much as he can, I see. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was a plain enough for this. I did try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course, be right back. Back. Report. Utter failure. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as, well, Sounds like they are stuck in quite the predicament. But I think we're gonna continue traveling through time. Memories, that is, not time. Seems like it's traveling through time, but it's just memories. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for our treatment. But can you afford the lunar trip lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can. Oh my gosh. What is he up to? Oh no, he's gonna go through all the memories and just bring it up. It's the diagnose. Diagnosis certain. Yes, in fact, we rarely have anyone. Here he comes. Oh, she comes. Did he know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, free pony rides in space. If somebody popped up throughout my life saying stuff like this about NASA, I would most definitely be weirded out and know something is going up. Oh look, a wedding. Good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon? There's the rabbit. River. Is that crazy guy doing? Deck Nabbit. Glass. Slippery. Johnny. J John. What the cucumber? <laughs> you know what? This is just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like, like an idiot. You didn't? Apparently Neil did. Look, maybe this lock of sleeps getting to us back, not lock. Had I known that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie. I 
constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as barely as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. Alright, I do have some calls to make. Sick in this game is absolutely beautiful. It's very relaxing. It doesn't make sense why did oh Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred yet. There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go. Wow, this is going fast. Unless unless secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes or two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If anything could have caused a core change, she would be then the top. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. River. Just what exactly did he do? What did you do? So River could be the main cause. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Alright guys, thank you once again for being here with me, relaxing, and watching this story unfold. It's been really good, but it's that time, that time to go to sleep, to get the rest that you need, so tomorrow you can function, and tomorrow will be a happy day. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next episode, or whenever you watch this. Thank you for watching it if you are watching this far with me. It's been amazing.